Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Bullet Tuber with a part 3 of the series, How to Create a Plant in Blender 2.8. This video is about creating realistic textures for our objects with the help of Materialize. There is no need to go into depth on how to configure setting and materialize for now, but I am going to make a video for that part in the future. So, first of all let's explain what Materialize is. Materialize is a standalone tool for creating materials for use in games from images. You can create an entire material from a single image or import the textures you have and generate the textures you need. Open Materialize and go to the second slot that Diffuse Texture is. Click O to open and choose the texture you need. Diffuse Texture is now applied to the plane so that we can actually view all the textures that we create. We can rotate with the right click, zoom in and out with scroll button and drag by holding middle button. Now go to the first slot to create a height map and click create button. We can see that settings are opened with some default values. As we said before there is no need to tweak settings for this video, so just click set as height map at the bottom right of the settings. We can always click on show full material in order to view all textures together applied on the plane. Repeat the same process for the third slot to create the normal map. On the fourth slot is where we create the metallic texture. This is the only setting that we are going to change as plants are not too shiny. On the fifth slot is smoothness texture. So click again on create and set a smoothness map. The next slot is for edge map but we are not going to create it as we don't need it. The final map we need to create is ambient occlusion. Repeat the same process also for this one and we are done. Now we can click on show all map for the last time, just have a look by rotating the plane. If any changes are necessary we can always go back and recreate a new map. In order to export the textures, we need to select the type of the images we want. For me, I will select PNG. Then click on Export Project and select the path that you want to save the project. Write a name and click Save. This is how we easily create textures with the help of Materialize. Now repeat the same process for all the textures like the leaf and soil. As you can see, I have already did this part for me. I have exported all maps for each texture separately in a folder. Now go back to Blender 2.8. Click on the leaves and go to the Materials tab. Select Leaf Material and from the top left corner click to open the drop down. Select Node Editor. In here, we are going to add our leaf textures to connect them together and create a PBR texture. Simple, open the folder that we saved all leaf textures and drag and drop them in Blender. I am going to delete also the current diffuse map so that we are not going to be confused. Select the node and press delete. So let's drag and drop our textures. For me, I have also created edge map. So I am going to delete it. I will move the a little bit to find diffuse and ambient occlusion maps first. By holding alt and right clicking from one to the other, we create mix shader. Connect shader to base color and change mix shader to multiply. Set the value to 0.25. Select all of them and move them to organize. Now find the height map and move it to the right of the PBR. Move also output a little to make some space for the height. For quick node search, press spacebar and start typing the node you want. We are going to add a displacement. Connect the color to the height of the displacement and then the output of the displacement to the displacement input of the material output.
Connect smoothness map to the roughness of the PBR. For normal map, we have to add a normal map node. Hit spacebar again and add the normal map node. I have also added an RBG curves node to control the normal map. Finally, connect metallic texture to the metallic input of the PBR. Material is now ready. So now, select the next material and go to Node Editor once again. Repeat the same process for educational purposes. If you are lazy as me, select the leaf material, go to Node Editor and by pressing A key you can select all nodes. Ctrl and C to copy them. Then go to the next material and paste the nodes. The only thing to be changed here, are the textures. So for each texture node click open and select the proper image. Time to add the final nodes for the soil. Because it is hard to see how it looks like, select soil object and press Ctrl and I. This will select all the other object. Press H to hide them. Soil object is now selected. Repeat the node process again. You can see that soil material has now more bumps to it. Everything is now ready for our realistic textures. This is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. If you have not watched the previous videos of this series please have a look. New series are coming up soon, so please hit that belt icon for more. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.